This book is born of a love affair. My partner Tam and I fell in love with this wonderful bit of Italy when we first came here a dozen years ago. Last year La Marche was rocked by a series of powerful earthquakes, but the damage to houses, churches and farms has done nothing to dampen the spirit of the people who live here, which has included me and Tam for the last ten years. Like most Italians, the people here live for their food, none more so than our neighbour Leo, a fabulous cook and local restaurateur. I used to make TV for a living, so when Leah pestered me to make a cookery series, not what I normally do, I finally gave in. Trouble was, we had no money. What followed was a roller coaster ride, trying to make a six-part series celebrating the wonderful food of the La Marche region with none of the resources that usually go into making TV. This book is about the process of making that series. It's got recipes, tips and pictures, but mostly it's about the joys and frustrations of living and working in Italy alongside Italians, people who manage to drive you mad because, well, somehow they're just not English. But what's really different about this book is that, while it roams wildly across just about every aspect of living in La Marche, from truffles to medieval festivals to art to earthquakes, it always comes back to that TV series. And every time it does, you can see for yourself, because the full series is available online to complement the book, which is called A Recipe for Disaster. And since we're talking about a cookery series and something of a cookbook, it seems only fitting that I should give you a taster of the series that forms the spine of a book that I hope you will enjoy on so many different levels. Here's a taster of Cucucina. Le Marche, Italy's hidden gem, a region of rolling hills, majestic mountains, and most important of all, fabulous food. And this is where Italians come for real food. And this is the little medieval town of Sonano. I'm Tamsin Courtney. I've lived here for three years now, and I teach English. This is my friend Leah, and she has an unpronounceable surname. Rocky Choli. Rocky Choli. Brava. She's a fabulous cook, but she doesn't speak very much English. I speak English very well. I speak pretty good English, but... That she can't cook. It's true, I'm afraid. I'm so rubbish in the kitchen. I've done it completely wrong again. <laughs> I broke it. And how can you not want to learn to cook in a region like this? Later in the show, we'll be going over the mountains to meet a man who gets his trout straight from the mountain stream. <laughs> and visiting a country cantina to find a special wine for one of Leah's recipes. Buonissimo. 